here the students we are going to write hello world 100 times now if i write hello world 100 times how can i do that i can write print as hello world if i want to write hello world 100 times i can do like print as hello world print as hello world print as hello world print as hello world 100 times if it consumes more amount of time then you need to write so what should i do i use a loop condition a loop condition is such that if I want to print hello world 100 times, I should throw this hello world thing inside a loop which will loop itself for 100 times to print hello world. Like if I use for loop, it's a loop which is something like this for initialization, then condition, then increment. It's a loop, it's a for loop. It has three things, initialization, condition, and increment. So, if I want to write hello world 100 times, I should program my for loop something like it should print hello world 100 times. So, what should I do? I initialize this thing with zero. The condition will be uh, i should be less than 100. As I'm starting from zero, it should be less than 100. And if I start from 1, it should be less than or equal to 100. i plus plus. So what does these three mean? It is the initialization. I am initializing my i with 0. Every time I am initializing my i with 0 and i 0 is less than 100 condition true, it will jump inside the block of statements by incrementing the value of i by 1. Means I have 0 first, my i is 0. 0 is less than 100, condition true, it will just come inside this and it will increment my i with 1, means 0 plus plus, means i plus plus means i plus 1, which is 0 plus 1, which is 1. While satisfying these two conditions, it will go inside my loop, I have block of statements over here, while satisfying these block of, block of statements, if my i reads this, my i increments my value with 1 means 0 plus 1 is 1 and then it check if 1 is less than 100 yeah condition 2 after satisfying this it again go inside this block of statement satisfy this block of statement after getting this <coughs> closing braces it will go to i plus plus and again increment my value of 1 to 2 by this way i behaves so at first i have to take i means i have defined i over here now I'll write my for loop for i is equal to 0. Over zero I have, over there I have taken 0. Over here I'll take 1. i less than equals to 100. i plus plus. These both are correct. These both means you can take 0, but your loop should be less than 100. Means less than 100 is 99 and 0. Means 0 for 0 it will run and it will run till 99. 99 plus 1 is 100. And over here, from 1 to less than or equal to 100. Means from 1 to 100. Both are same. So, after writing this statement, I will write print as hello world. Then return 0. This is my for loop. First, I have done initialization, then the condition, then the increment. How does this increment behave? If I take an example of this increment over here, just take this hash include history over there, and then I am taking main. After writing the main function, if I define int i is equal to 0, I can define my i is equal to 0 over here as well, like this. After defining this, you can define this, but you if you don't want to define this, you you can just surpass this thing, but you have to give a semicolon over here. Getting to i plus plus, how i plus plus behaves, you should see this first. Print f percentage d comma. If I write i plus plus and then print f percentage d comma. What does this mean? I have taken my i is equal to 0 at the console screen 
it will show 0 1 because at first I am printing my i 0 first it will read i and then it will increment this thing means first it will read 0 as well as it reads 0 it will print 0 it will print 0 and then in the memory it will convert itself to i is equal to i plus 1 means i plus 1 means 0 it will be converted to 1 now in the next line if i write print f percentage the i it will print i as 1 so this is the answer for i plus plus and i so this is a for loop how to write a for loop this is the condition in initialization condition increment and if I want to do this thing for a thousand times you say I just have to increase a zero over here that's it I don't have to write this thing thousand times this is the way to write a for loop thank you friends for liking our videos do subscribe it and for any queries just comment down below and the raw codes which I am writing over here you will get down below in our uh, description section thank you